Hi traders, this is a lesson on supply and demand. This is one of the most important strategies in trading. You can apply this in Forex, stocks, futures, cryptocurrencies. So the market is basically always in equilibrium, but there are two forces that command the market. One is supply, one is demand. So if the market is uh, rising, we have the majority of demand. If the market instead is unwinding, we have the majority of supply and control. So this is also correlated to aggressive buyers, aggressive sellers. We'll see now in the next examples how to determine the levels of supply and demand, how to spot them, how to see the breakouts, the breakdowns, and when you have to trade them. So this is a daily chart. Uh, we have Tesla. We have a level of supply. So how to find this level of supply? Level of supply is formed by three or more point of reversals. So we had at least three points uh, that all were top or bottoms. And then we had consecutive uh, five bars of reversal. What I mean by that, so you see the stop and then you need five consecutive bars that don't go touch or break this previous high. In this case, you can see that the price starts unwinding to a next level of support, which is demand over here. And from this low, we start having one, two, three, four, five bars. Again, this level of demand was the previous demand over here. So you can see how this repeats over time. Again, in order to call a demand zone or supply zone, we need at least one, two, and then we will need another level that confirms this to be a good important level of demand. Of course, the more demand uh, levels that we have, the more important will be our level. Now, why this is important? Because when we have these dips, and we can see over here the first one, we start having then a second bar forming, dipping, and then bouncing. So we have established over here a first level of support. And then on this bar, we start having a dip, a push, and we break the previous high over here. And then we start to have this push, another pullback. Over here, we start like pushing more till this top over here. Often, this level of supply and demand will be with a wick. So you will see a less bar with a wick and then reversal. Now you can see over here the reversal. The price is shifting downside. And then we have the main demand, which was the previous support on Tesla. And from this wick, we start having higher lows. You can check always the previous high. Over here, you can see the previous high breakout and then the reversal of our trend. So this is the next example on Tesla. And it's a bigger picture. So we're always talking over here of a daily chart. And what can we see here, traders? First of all, we have a first reversal point. Of course, this is a reversal point because after we have five consecutive bars that are basically not going to touch anymore our reversal point up here, and they establish a first downtrend. Then at the same point of a uh, reversal, we have a breakout over here. And after the breakout, we have a dip into this uh, previous supply zone now becoming a demand zone and then we start pushing. Once we push, we see another level of reversal point up here and then another one up here and then another one up here because each one is then followed by five bars that are not breaking the reversal point. We form another reversal point over here and then we push again to this level and then we start unwinding. And where we unwind till the previous supply zone, which was this the supply zone, and then that became demand zone, demand zone. So we see that the price levels repeat over time. This, this, this. And then we push again to this level of reversal point over here, where before we had a dip. So in this case, we had a demand zone, supply zone. Now, if I want to trade this, I won't singularly trade this path 
but I will wait for a confirmation. So for a rejection, in this case, I will look to short just on the fail over here of this bar, risking this high. Again, we have an unwind, so you can see over here the price fails, fails, fails. Over here, Tesla moved from 700 down to 550, and again, we have that level over here of demand, which was a previous level, touched one, two, three, four times. We can see over here that we have a wick, so each bar is formed with a wick. What is basically a wick? So we have a, um, a normal candle, and then we have a wick, so an extension over here. This means exhaustion. So if you look at this bar over here, it's basically the same that we see over here. And from this dip, we start breaking the high and then start pushing. Again, where we go to the previous demand, uh, supply, supply zone, then becoming a demand zone, and then we start pushing up here. Again, you can see the reversal point over here which is the dip that also we had over here and over here. So price repeats over time. What I always do, traders, I'm gonna zoom in. I start looking, let's say in this case, I start looking for the main level, so this one. I start looking at this level on level two in order flow and book map, I start seeing sellers. And then I start looking for the break of this low over here to confirm the reversal. And you can see over here we start breaking and we never get to the open of this bar and never get to the top of this bar. And then you can see over here we start having a higher low, higher low, higher low. So if you see this pattern over here is basically an uptrend line that we can spot and trace a level over here. So you can see a trend line break and then we start forming a lower high uh, lower low, lower high, and then unwind to the main demand zone down here. Another example, in this case, we're looking at the shift. What is the shift? So we've been talking about how to spot the main demand and supply zone, how to look for the entry point, how to look for reversal. So when we have the first demand zone over here, this is a reversal point because then we start forming again five consecutive bars to the upside we have a push and then right away we go to test that level this happens in one day okay this is an intraday chart so we can see that we go to test this level down here on tesla and then we start bouncing right so this is not a reversal point because we don't have five consecutive bars but this is so this level over here is a reversal point and you can see traders how we start going up going up going up we start pushing, but then at 1,000, so a whole round dollar number, we start reversing and we form another reversal point. The same reversal point, so over here we had demand, demand, demand. Okay, so this is a very important level, this 980, 985. Then happens that we have a shift. The shift is over here because this demand zone, the 980, 985, become a supply zone. So that is the shift and in this moment we are always bouncing over here until this moment and then we start instead reversing and fading 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 so you can see definitely a demand zone the same demand zone becomes a supply zone so what happens over here we have buyers aggressive buyers and then at a certain point we start to see sellers and then over here we have buyers again, buyers again, but always less aggressive because we start having always low relative highs. At a certain point, we start having instead aggressive sellers because we don't see any kind of dip and bounce, but this is simply falling over here. So it's very important to spot traders the supply and demand shift in your trading. You can use this on an hourly chart, daily chart, five minute chart, weekly chart, you can trade us on uh, cryptocurrencies, on stocks, on futures, on uh, options, everything you want. Now, let's jump to another example. In this case, we're gonna cover the hourly chart on Bitcoin. And uh, over here, instead on the right, and the uh, bottom part of our chart, a 15 minute chart. So we'll see the difference between a hourly chart and 15 minute chart. Let's say you are day trading, okay? So you, you can trade futures on Bitcoin, uh, Kraken, KuCoin, whatever you prefer. And over here you can see a first reversal point, 
five consecutive bars, never touch this high, and then starts to unwind over here, unwind, unwind, unwind. This is also a reversal point, right? So reversal point. In order, again, to make a demand zone, we need at least three reversal points. So one, two, and three. And then also over here, we need one, this is supply, supply, uh, supply, supply. Okay, so supply zone over here, demand zone over here. And at a certain point, we have, you can spot over here, this is just a trading range, right? Because the price is going to resistance, rejecting, support bouncing, resistance rejecting, support bouncing. At a certain point over here, we have a breakout. And I'm never confident in buying breakout because often we can have something like this. We think this is gonna have a breakout and then right away flushes down and we are trapped. And this is where the wheels are placed. They want to stop us out. They want to basically look for um, a way to trap retailers, okay? And uh, don't buy breakouts, don't buy breakouts, don't buy breakouts. Instead, start looking with the lower time frame. What happens on a 50 minute chart? Remember, this is an hourly chart. Over here, we have a 50 minute chart. We have a breakout. And then once we have a breakout, we go to retest this breakout level. So the same over here supply zone, this 39,000 that you can see over here, becomes in fact a demand zone. So we start having over here buyers and then buyers and on the break of this bar, you can see this high over here, this is where I want to enter. Because we have a confirmation that after a break, we have a dip and then start in push. And you can see what happens over here, a big follow through to the upside from 39 and this eventually will go 45,000. So again, traders, this is just something that you can use in your trading as a main guide because you will see the uh, really the improvement of your trading if you start using this technique. Again, if you like this video, subscribe, uh, just put a like, comment. I will answer every single comment that you are going to write. Follow us at JTraderCo on Twitter and see you in the room at JTraderCo. Thank you.